flight is delayed three hours. It's raining and lightning and thunder and craziness outside. Uh, on the plus side, we're in the lounge and I'm three drinks in. Some people might say that's problematic. Those people are probably right. Alright, so we are somewhere over Jamaica, maybe an hour or two, Cartagena. Just happy to be in the air. It's been six hours on the ground in Atlanta. But uh, we're here. It seems kind of sunny outside. And uh, hey, I got upgraded in the first class. Carolina didn't, but I did offer her this seat five times. And she said no. But I made the offer. one hour to spare to make it to our dinner reservation. We got an Uber, and by the way, it's customary to sit up front in your Uber. So, here I am, and there's Carolina, and there's the, there she is! And we are heading to our hotel, and then we're gonna throw all our stuff down, and then go eat. What a wasted day. Everybody said that this city is hot as hell, and they were all right. This city is so hot and humid. Just like me. <laughs> I know, right? What is your favorite food? <laughs> Jesus. Alright, I've been roped into salsa dancing at Cafe Havana. This shouldn't end well. Sunday. It's meet the press. It's meet the press, but it's have coffee. Wait, come here. You have, you have white. Oh wait. That's just because I'm a gringo. Uh, this is the, the road up to Cerro de la Popa. ¿Qué es nombre de Montana? La Popa. Eh, Popa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Polini. So this is the view from the top of Cerro de la Popa. You can kind of see the modern part over there to the left. And down below it's um, sort of the poorer neighborhoods. It's always interesting to see uh, the contrast like that. And you can see the castle out there, which we'll be going to next. And somewhere out there, I guess, is the wall. Oh yeah, that's the walled city. That's where we're staying, straight ahead. All right, so this is the Castillo de... Live from Cartagena, it's Jared Bellini. Yes. In his 360 gear. Okay. So, this is the Castillo de Felipe? Um, San, Felipe? San Felipe? I've seen a lot of fucking castles in my day. But you know what makes this one different than all the others? Is the fact that it's 5,000 degrees. So, our Uber driver was explaining to us that baseball is actually more popular in Cartagena than soccer, than football. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get a play of the plate? Nope, he's gonna score. Oh, it's a home run. Well, we're on our way to find some ceviche and a cerveza. And we're just walking the streets of Getsemani. And it's just beautiful, these little streets. I'm so goddamn hot right now. The only ceviche that I've ever had is Peruvian ceviche, but this is at La Cocina de Pepina, and it's a little bit different, and we also got some shrimp with some avocado and some eggplant, and we're just happy to be inside with air conditioning. This is Calle Angosto. And, uh, also known as the Umbrella Street. It's not also known as that, but there's umbrellas over the street. All right, so we are crossing over from Getsemani uh, into the walled city, the Plaza de la Paz. Wow, gracias. Gracias. Alright, so the closer you get to Cafe Del Mar, 
the more touristy uh, Cartagena gets. So we're definitely in the uh, thick of tourism right now. As you can tell by... <laughs> that's how you can tell. And that. This is uber touristy. And everybody comes here for sunset and for drinks. Uh, but there is obviously plenty of great places to watch the sunset without having to be surrounded by a million people. Now, they do have tables and places to sit, so that's kind of nice, but also completely unnecessary. This is the restaurant where we wanted to eat tonight, La Vitrola, but you have to wear pants. And I don't have pants, I only have shorts, so we can't go in. Kind of disappointed. Oh well. So this is the part where Jerry is extremely pissed because the restaurant we wanted to try tonight uh, didn't let him in because he's wearing shorts and not pants. Now, they didn't realize that he was actually wearing something and that's already a big step in Jared's life. So, I applaud you for wearing shorts going out tonight. And La Vitrola can just, you know, Suck a bag of dicks. 